there's this empathetic way that we can communicate, right? That's, you know, beyond just the words we say, right? But that's like something that a lot of people misunderstand, right? When you're communicating with someone, you're communicating with them on a level that's much more than just words. You're communicating with them. Okay, guys, another beautiful day today. I am gonna get some work done, but uh, I wanted to share something with you guys, right? Something I learned while I was in Thailand, while I was teaching in Thailand specifically. But uh, I'll let you guys know more about that later. Okay, what's up guys? So it's pretty crazy that things you're forced to learn, right? When you're put in a situation that you just have to figure out how to solve, right? So for me, what that was, was when I was teaching in Thailand, right? So I was basically trying to teach these kindergartners, kindergartners all the way to ninth graders, right? I was trying to teach them English without knowing Thai, without them knowing English, right? So imagine how on earth was I able to teach? How on earth was I able to manage and go around and fix that situation, right? So through that, right, I quickly learned a couple of different things to get attention, to, you know, get uh, my message across, right? And more than anything, right, because the words that I say, right, they have no meaning if you don't understand them, right? But what's universal, right? Whether you're a, uh, you know, a 20 year old uh, who's grown up in California your entire life, or if you're a, you know, a Thai student in, uh, you know, rural Thailand, right, it doesn't matter. You still understand these things, right? And what that is, okay, is inflection, right? Inflection, volume, right? So if I start whispering like this, really quiet, right? Uh, you know, that gets attention. The volume of what you speak, right? Uh, the variation of how you speak gets attention. And that's something that's very powerful that you can use in your everyday life, right? Whenever you're talking to anyone, whenever you want to command attention, not even command, I guess like <laughs> in the classroom, I would need to command attention like that, right? So, you know, I would yell, but that's a little annoying. <laughs> Jacob, you no, know, but uh, I would yell, I would whisper, I would talk really fast, or sometimes if I would really get their attention by talking really, really slowly, right? But you guys get the idea, right? But uh, anyways, I will talk to you, talk to, uh, I will talk to you guys more about what I learned there and how you can apply it to your everyday freaking lives, okay? Okay, yeah, so it was actually the cutest thing, right? So for the fourth grade and seventh grade, I actually had a couple of students that their English was good enough to help me translate for the rest of the students, right? But uh, the real challenge, the real challenge was the kindergartners, the second graders, and the third graders, right? So these people I really, or these students, I really had to use my communication skills to the next level. I had to bring and step up my communication skills to the next level, right? But it's crazy how much communication can happen you know, without words, right? So, uh, for example, right, one of the things that I would do, right, besides the energy of my voice, the volume of it, the speed, if I'm talking fast, or right, if I'm talking really fast, or if I'm talking slow, or if I'm even moving slow, right, the kids go crazy over that stuff, right? But they get the message, they get the message across, right? And what's really crazy is that, you know, say for example, my students are feeling low energy, right? All of a sudden, I'm extra, you know, I'm real extra, and then they become extra, right? Um, or sometimes they're a little, oh, what's up, dude? What's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> uh, that's my roommate, Jonathan, but, uh, <laughs> see that? But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, right, uh, these students, right, um, if they were real low energy, I could be extra, and they could be extra, right? They would become extra, right? Your energy translates to the people that you talk to, you know? Um, and if they, if I, if I were to talk a lot calmer, if my body motion was a lot calmer, my students would respond in a similar way, right? There's this empathetic way that we can communicate, right? That's, you know, beyond just the words we say, right? But that's like something that a lot of people misunderstand, right? When you're communicating with someone, you're communicating with them on a level that's much more than just words. You're communicating with uh, eye contact, with volume, with speed, with tonality, right? Um, so all these things are, uh, you know, pretty crazy and things you should keep in mind next time you have to teach English to a bunch of Thai kids that don't know English, right? Or, you know, any other situation <laughs> that's similar, right? So, but uh, anyways, I am really hungry. I might get like a bunch of pizza, maybe some fries, just to, you know, because I'm bulking, I can do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's a really beautiful day. It's uh, nice and warm today, but the sun is going down. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll have to see you guys later. Okay, guys. 
so I don't know how many of you are day ones, right? But if you look at my videos, like uh, the ones I made back in October, my very first couple of videos, you can definitely see the improvement. You can see the difference, right, in the quality of how I speak, in the quality of my presentation, in the quality of my body language, right? When I'm talking to you guys, because you know, before I'm not just uh, talking, I'm not talking to a camera anymore, I'm talking to you, right? And you know, not only that, but also some practice and just, you know, doing it for, you know, a while now. But uh, yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? Thinking back, I was looking through a couple of my old videos, right? Even some of the old Instagram ones I did in Thailand back in like July or, or June, right? It's pretty freaking crazy, the difference. Um, <laughs> it was kind of funny, I was like looking at the videos that I made back then and I was like, dang, Jackie, talk a little faster, man, talk a little faster, but uh, you guys can <laughs> see this for yourselves on uh, my Instagram, right? It's uh, Mr. Jackie Ma, M-I-S-T-E-R-J-C-K-I-E-M-A, right? But uh, anyways, I'm like seriously gonna try to find some pizza and I'll talk to you guys later. Yo, what's up guys? So, I am like a block away from getting my pizza. I'm so close, I can taste it, I can feel it in my, in my stomach, I can feel it in my hands, I can feel it in my mouth, right? It's just, I'm, I'm excited, man, I feel like a little kid who is about to open Christmas presents, right? Um, but anyways, I am almost here, so I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so this is happening, guys. I'm not sure if I can wait until I get home, but I am excited. So we'll see. We'll see if um, I'll be able to resist eating some before I get back. But, uh, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, guys, so I wasn't able to resist. My willpower was low, and uh, this is the result. But uh, it's okay. Hi. <laughs> okay, alright, see you guys later. Don't miss the camera again.